As you add more and more elements, the size of the form naturally grows. And there's nothing more annoying than seeing a single page form with a lot of elements. And in web form, you have the ability to create pages or a multi-step wizard. So what we'll do is we'll create two pages in our form. The first one will be called contact details, and that'll have the name and the preferred contact method and a second page called company details, which will have the details element. So click on build and then click on add page and enter in contact details as the title and then just click on save and then click on add page again and enter company details as the title and then click on save again. Reorder the elements and simply indent them under the specific page. So name will be under contact details, preferred contact method, phone and email, and details will be under company details. And then just click on save. If we view our form, you can see we have this nice little progress bar, which tells us which page we are on and the final page, which is complete, which is the confirmation page. So if we were to fill in the form and then just click on next page. We can go back to the previous page and the values which we entered in previously are still there. So if we click on next again, we can enter something into details and then just submit it. Let's now look at the settings for this progress bar. So to modify this progress bar, just click on settings, form, and let's just collapse these and then click on wizard. And let's put in the page number and also the percentage and just click on save. And then if you go to view, you can see which page you are on and also the percentage. So if we were to fill in the first page, you can see that we are 50% through the form. Now another option on that setting. So let's just open this up in a different tab. So let's go back to form. Now another important configuration is this option. So if we go back to our form, you will see that we are on the second page, but the URL is form slash request a callback. If we go back to the previous page, it's still form slash request a callback. The URL doesn't change depending on which page you are on, which is a problem if you wanna track the progress using some type of analytic tool, such as Google Analytics. There is no way to see how far users get through the form and then either complete them or drop off. The simple solution for this is to select one of these options, page name or page index. Just select page name and what this will do, so let's just save the form. And then if we reload the form, let's fill it in again. It adds this get parameter, which is page equals, and then the page key. So this page key, company details, matches this page key. Now it'll be much easier to track users through the pages using some type of analytic tool because the URL changes. And I've worked on pretty complex web forms that have five to seven pages or even 10 pages. And the marketing department always want to know how far users get through the form. And the only way to do that is to make sure that the URL is unique. Now, the final thing I'll show you is how to change these labels, because I'm sure the first question you'll get from the client is, can we change the next button to something else? Changing this button is very easy. Just go back to build and then click on the specific page that you wanna change the button on. So in our case, we'll select contact details and then simply specify a different label. So let's change the next button to go to next page and then just click on save. And then if we view our form and you can see that the button has changed and we've done it without writing any custom code or implementing a form alter, which is awesome. We can do everything from the UI. And that is how you create multiple pages in web form. So if you are working on a form with a lot of elements, Think about breaking them out into multiple pages. Not only would it be easier for people to start filling it out because they're not bombarded with a massive page of elements, but you may also have better conversions.